Hello everybody and welcome to another video. My name is Casper Thiel. In this video, I'm gonna show you how I use StreamYard. So let's get right to it. First thing you wanna do is download Google Chrome. Once you have it downloaded, you're going to double click on it and uh, you can sign into your YouTube channel from here and make sure you link uh, Google Chrome and your YouTube channel together. Once you've done that, you're gonna to go to StreamYard and you're gonna create an account in StreamYard. I already have an account. This is your main dashboard that you will see. I'm just gonna delete my old one here. So when you first come to your dashboard, it's gonna look like this. You're gonna create a new uh, broadcast, double click. You're gonna put your title uh, and your description of the video and you can make it public or private. You can also schedule one uh, for an upcoming day right here by clicking that it'll give you some more options i'm going to put mine to private just because i'm showing you guys this as a demonstration hit next uh then it's going to bring you to this platform right here you're going to go enter broadcast studio here it's going to ask you what mic do you want to use what camera do you want to use if you are not using the correct camera or mic just double click on that make sure that you choose your camera and your mic all right, once that's all been chosen, uh, and also choose 720p. Hit next. Uh, here is where you put your channel name or whatever you want your broadcast to be uh, called. Here uh, is your uh, platform or your panel. Uh, anyone who comes into the room as your guest is gonna show up on the bottom and to bring them here into this spot, just like you have to do to yourself here, you have to just double click them into the, plat into the panel. Here on the bottom, you have some options to change how the viewing is looked. I always go with number two, if I have two people in the room. And on the top right hand corner is your go live button. It's in blue. Uh, that go live button changes to a stop stream button after you've pushed it. Okay, so let's delete this one and I'm gonna show you how to set up a scheduled one. Okay, you're gonna create a broadcast, same thing, title, public and you put your description in. Okay. StreamYard is very easy to use. I had no problems with uh, trying to figure it out. And the more you do it, the better you get at it. So this time we are doing it for real because I'm gonna be doing a live stream here tonight. Scheduled it today for 8 p.m. Okay, and I'm gonna download an image that's gonna show as my thumbnail on YouTube. And I'm going to create it. Then it's going to bring you back to your dashboard right here. It's going to look like this once it's uh, uploading here. Okay. When you are ready to go live at 8 p.m., you're going to come back here and you're going to hit the Enter Broadcast Studio and then hit the Go Live button. That's it. Hope this video helped you guys. And if it did, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, feel free to uh, email me at uh, caspatio at gmail.com. And if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please do so by hitting that subscribe button right now. As you can see, when I go to my YouTube channel now, it shows up uh, that I have a scheduled live event coming up at uh, 8 p.m. tonight. And when your fans click on it, there'll be a countdown as, as, as to how long it's gonna be before you go live. So it's really good to, uh, to, set, uh, to schedule a, a a live stream that way your, your fans get notified when you're going to be going live thanks for watching this video i'll see you guys in the next one ciao